Be My Valentine by Miriam Cohen and Lillian Hoban. Valentine's Day is coming, said Jim. He was happy. He really liked those funny cards with the bear saying, I can't bear it if you won't be my valentine. What is valentines? asked Louie. He was new in first grade. It's the day you try to get the most cards, answered Anna Maria. And everybody says, you are my sweetheart. You are my sweetheart, said Willie. The teacher said, on Valentine's Day, we send cards to show we like someone. Everybody must send a card to everybody else in first grade. Then no one will be sad. I'm not going to send a card to Anna Maria, Danny whispered to Willie. And Jim thought, I'm going to send two Valentines to Paul. After school, Jim's mother said, why don't you make your own Valentines? But Jim remembered how his hearts always came out fat on one side and skinny on the other. And he could never make those little bees with the big eyes, the ones that said, be my honey. Jim rushed to the 10 cent store. The other kids were already there. First, they looked at all the candy. Then they each bought a box of Valentines. Each box was the same, and each box had enough cards in it for everybody in first grade. Ooh, this is a cute one. Will you send it to me, Jim? asked Anna Maria. But Jim was thinking which cards he would send to Paul. At last, it was Valentine's Day. The teacher called out the names on the cards. Jim was hoping he'd get lots of good Valentines. Sarah waved a card. Look, I got one from Sammy. It says, my two lips are thine. All the first graders were showing their valentines and laughing. They asked each other, how many did you get? Paul told Jim, I like the ones you sent me. I like police be my valentine. He held up a little policeman on a motorcycle. Danny yelled, I have 13 Valentines. But some of Danny's cards said, To Danny, you are nice from Danny. He had sent them to himself. Jim got 12 Valentines. He kept looking at them. He loved them all. See this one, Anna Maria said to Margaret. I kept it for myself because it was too cute to send. Some people got a lot of Valentines. Some people didn't get so many, but George didn't get enough. He ran and hid in the coat room and wouldn't come out. Oh dear, the teacher said. I'm afraid everyone did not send a Valentine to everyone else in first grade. What can we do to make George feel better? Everybody tried to think. It was very quiet except for George. He was crying in the coat room. Anna Maria said, I'll give him one of my cards because I have so many. But George hollered, I don't want it. I know, Jim cried. We can play music for him. He took out his harmonica and began to blow. Paul went to the music corner and got the trumpet. Anna Maria took the kazoo before anyone else could. Willie got the drum. Margaret planged the guitar, Danny bonged the xylophone, and Louie wanged the triangle. Sarah put a pretty cloth on her head and began to dance. Around the room they went. George came out slowly. Sammy gave him the bells to shake. He knew that was George's favorite. Willie got the paper crown and put it on George's head. Hey, man! You are the king, he said. And look who's here, said the teacher. Willie's mother was standing in the doorway. She brought cupcakes shaped just like pink hearts. Danny ate his right away, and then he pretended Louie's hat was a big cupcake. He pretended he was eating it on Louie's head. 
Everybody laughed and laughed. Then it was three o'clock. They all grabbed their coats and their cards. They ran out calling to one another, Happy Valentine's, Jim. Happy Valentine's, Paul. Happy Valentine's, Willie and Sammy and Anna Maria and Louie and George and Margaret and Sarah and everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. The end.